welcome back to my channel. here in San Francisco. I just got off the plane. Technically it's two o'clock back on the East Coast, but it's only like 11 here. So I have the entire day. I'm headed to go get my rental car. I just got my bag. So yeah, it's already hot. Like I'm burning up. I have too many layers on. It was only like 30 degrees on the East Coast when I left this morning, but uh, I'm just ready to go to the hotel and shower and change and get my day started. So I just got my rental car, a nice little white Jeep Wrangler. I'm sitting here on the side of the road and I just booked a hotel. Yeah, I had no hotel booked. Risky. Granted, I'm only staying in San Fran for a night. I booked it, so I'm good. I probably will be able to get early check-in. We'll see what happens. It's 12, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm wiping down the steering wheel. We ain't trying to get no Rona out here. Headed to the hotel. It looks like a cute little boutique hotel. You know I'm all for the boutique hotels. This vacation is going to be filled with a bunch of boutique hotels. It's about 20 minutes away, um, and it's kind of like by the pier and stuff, so I'll get some good views and good footage of everything. So I'll catch you guys in a little bit. So, I gave you guys a little mini hotel tour. The hotel I'm staying at is like kind of like an upscale motel. I said it was like a boutique hotel. It's very boutique vibe. It's super eclectic. It's cute. I'm just staying there for one night. I am headed to the Golden Gate Bridge, which is going to be pretty awesome. This. But um, yeah, I'm headed to the Golden Gate Bridge so I can take some pictures. Um, the door is open. I'm starving. I literally have not eaten anything today. And technically, back at home is like 6 o'clock. So I need to find something to eat, but I also don't want it to get dark. So I might grab a snack. I'm excited. This is day one. I feel like... Things have been productive. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm not trying to stress myself out. I need to pull over and close this door. You guys, look at that. This looks unreal. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to get out. I'm gonna try to get as close as possible to this bridge. Ah, I'm so excited! Okay, so it definitely was a struggle trying to park my car. Um, this guy helped me. I'm finally here. And this is absolutely beautiful. I'm gonna try to get closer to the bridge. But the view is amazing up here. I'm gonna see if I can get as close as there. So I can get really good footage and pictures. Picture of like this angle 
of the bridge. This is, I feel like this is the most popular shot you see everywhere. Take a look at how amazing this looks. I can't get over it. I completely lost my mask. I'm gonna try to use my drone over by the water. I think like 11 15 this morning has been pretty productive i woke up at like 6 45 only because my body is definitely still on east coast time i went for a swim the pool is really nice it's heated check this bathrobe their bathrobes are super cute and i'm just so obsessed and i think that you can buy these at the front desk along with these mugs which i have to buy because this is like the perfect souvenir i am going to check out in a little bit i'm making some more tea and then i'm gonna hit the road i think i'm gonna go to the full house house and take some photos and then i think i'm gonna go to the russian hill it's like this really windy road i was thinking about hopping on a cable car but i don't know if they're running because of covid and i don't really think i have enough time because i'm gonna try to get on highway one and head south today so we'll just see how much time I have. I haven't even had breakfast. A lot of places are closed. I wanted to have like a cute little brunch, but I might have to just grab something and go. But I'm gonna finish packing up. So I'll see y'all in the car. I checked out of the hotel and I went to go buy the bathrobe or inquire about the price. And it was $150. Like what? No, but I did get the glass. And I did take some pictures in the bathroom, so that counts. I'm headed to the Full House house, which is only nine minutes from me. No one here has road rage, and I don't understand it. It's really weird. So I saw some young girls taking pictures in front of the door. It's the cutest thing. This is it. I drove all the way from Connecticut to see this house. That's it? That was a lot less exciting than I thought it would be. And I could have sworn the door was red in the show. Or am I crazy? I hope I went to the right house. I went to 1709. I don't know, I looked it up online, so. I saw other people taking pictures in front of there, but it just looks really different in person. I guess I was expecting to see Mary Kate and Ashley. Um, all right, next adventure. I want you guys to see this incline. This is insane. I don't know if my car can make it. I'm praying. Is this Princess Diaries? I feel like stopping at the stoplight is the most dangerous thing you could do. Oh my goodness. At the next stop sign, turn to the next stop sign, keep going or else your car will go backwards. Guys, this is it. Can y'all see? Oh, this looks so cool. Okay, I need to go to the top and I'm gonna go down. How do I get up there? Up on the side of this highway and show you guys what I'm seeing. This is a 
amazing. Oh my gosh. There's nothing like it. Y'all don't believe there's a God? This is incredible. This is a bit of a detour. I'm supposed to be going to the Big Sur, which is like two hours away. But I'm afraid that it's gonna be sunset already by the time I get there. And then I won't get good pictures. But this, this is so amazing. Y'all need to see this. I'm gonna get my drone. Incredible. Wow. update I'm experiencing a little crisis it's 7 15 right now and I've been driving for like two hours with no service and like less than half a tank of gas and I just came across this like little weird gas station so I'm gonna get gas my GPS is not working because I don't have service so I don't even know where I'm driving this is where I am though I'm tired now. I've been driving for so long. My best bet is to just get gas and like keep driving on Highway 1 and I'll, I should run into something. But I need phone service. Like I'm like low key freaking out. Uh, but I'm smiling, but I'm freaking out and I'm hungry. So I'm gonna get gas. All right. It is about almost nine o'clock, but I've been up since maybe like five, 5.45. I just, I can never sleep my first night in a hotel. And because these are all one-nighters, I feel like I'm not getting any sleep. But um, the plan today is to, because there's nothing to do in Santa Barbara right now, I'm gonna drive to Laguna Beach area. I'm going to this small beach called Victoria Beach, which is about two hours from here. So I'm gonna try to get on the road like now. And then after that, I'm gonna go to Joshua Hill, which is probably about another two hours. So all in all, I'll be driving about four hours today, which is not bad because yesterday, I literally was driving for like 10 hours, um, which I've never done. So, every food place last night when I arrived here was closed. I got here around like 10.30 and I literally booked this hotel while I was sitting in the parking lot. And yeah, I pretty much have been doing that most of the trip. I've been booking as I go because I don't know where I'm gonna end up. Like I have an idea of where I'm going, 
but I don't know how long it's gonna take me to do activities in a certain spot, so I don't really book anything until I get to my destination, which is really risky, but whatever. Um, but from here on out, everything else is booked. Um, but just the first couple of days, I was loose traveling. I'm gonna go ahead and get dressed for the day. It feels really nice out. It looks like it's gonna rain, but the further down south I go, the warmer it's getting, which is pretty awesome. It was a little chilly in San Fran. Not like East Coast chilly, but it was breezy. Luckily, the pool was heated, so I got to enjoy that. But I'm gonna stop rambling and I'm gonna just get dressed, like I said. Why do I have my mask on? This is dumb. Let's do a retake. Hey, we out. I look so California today with my dungarees and my Birkenstocks and my crop top ish. All right, I'm ready to go. All of the inns in this area are so beautiful. It just looks like Mexico. Santa Barbara is so pretty. And from my window, you guys saw this car this morning. This is the front of the building. And that was my window. <laughs> First floor. So I just realized I never filled you guys in on what happened last night. When I got to the gas station, I got gas and then I asked the guy that worked there how far I was from an area that has cellular service. And he was just like, oh, you're about 20 to 30 miles from an area like where are you headed so I told him I was headed to Santa Barbara and he was just like oh, that's like 80 miles from here so he just told me to stay on California one um, highway one which was what I was doing because there was literally no fork in the road to get on another highway and where I was driving was so dark like y'all let me just show you this map so I was driving down the coast of California I started at San Fran and the goal was to drive down Highway 1. Now Highway 1 is on the coast, basically the scenic route. So I knew it was going to take a long time. So I was driving down the coast and as you can see that's Santa Cruz and then when you go further you hit Santa Barbara. So I was in Monterey. I have to turn it over so you guys can see the rest. But I was in Monterey when I lost service. I was trying to get to the Big Sur, which it was way too late to be trying to get to the Big Sur. Um, the Big Sur is basically a huge waterfall. Well, Mickway Falls is where I was trying to get to in the Big Sur area. And it was too dark for me to try to get there in the amount of time that I was trying to get there. The sun had set around 5.45 and by the time I got to that area, it was like 6.30 and it was pitch black. So if any of you guys ever decide to drive down Highway 1, never drive it at night. It was literally the biggest mistake I've ever made. I was so scared. I mean, granted, I was okay and I stayed on Highway 1, but you have no cell phone service between Montreal and Cambria. You have no cell phone service for hours. I had no service for four hours and my GPS wasn't working. So I was just, I just kept driving straight. Um, and if you run out of gas, good luck because there was pretty much no one else on the road because it was nighttime at that point. There were like RVs that were like pulled over that, you know, they kind of station there and sleep there. But other than that, nothing. I, by the grace of God, ran into a random small gas station, which I didn't hit until like 50 miles in and my gas tank was almost at E. So it was just, you know, a miracle that I ran to that gas station. But I know in the future, I will never drive down Highway 1 after 545 because it's so dark, you can't see the curves, bruh. Oh my God. I thought I was gonna fall off the cliff because the winding road is so narrow. It's not just one direction. It's, you know, both directions. So every time I would go around a corner i would like almost run into another car if they were going this way it was scary but i was okay and eventually once i got past cambria i regained cell phone service and then i was able to type in santa barbara and then from then from there on 
I had about two more hours to drive so I was like trying to stay awake I was so tired it took me way longer than it was supposed to take I believe it was supposed to take maybe like seven or eight hours to get from San Fran to Santa Barbara but because highway one is just a one-lane highway there was a lot of traffic when I got to Santa Cruz. This story was really long. This was literally story time. But I'm gonna head out. I will catch you guys at Victoria Beach. Yay! I did it! No tap, mommy. Everybody trying to go, yeah, the party jumping off Ain't we putting on a show, trying to catch a vibe We do this every time, like na 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 Feeling like I'm on the highway Cause everything been going my way And now they looking at me sideways I'm like na 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 This is where I wanna be, na 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 Never ever gonna leave Such a rocky road. Rocky road. And it's raining. It's raining in the desert. Please don't mind the um the shakes. Oh my gosh, guys. So I'm in Yucca Valley and there's this huge hawk across the valley. It keeps hovering. That's beside the point. I just walked up this ginormous hill trying to look for my Airbnb stream airstream and it's not up here and i realized the directions were wrong so i have to go down the hill i'm gonna show y'all where my car is it's freezing up here not only is it cold but it's windy i keep twisting my ankle because i'm on sandals this is not good oh my gosh let me just show you where my car is i literally walked like a mile up the hill I'm gonna go back to my car and I literally I had to pee so bad that's why I just hopped out to even grab my bags and I ended up having to pee in a bush which is not the first time but I cannot do this that's my car can you guys see it it looks tiny that's it right there right there yeah all right I'm gonna put my hands away because I'm cold early so I can take pictures during the daylight. It's already four o'clock and the sun's gonna go down in like an hour. I should focus on trying to find my airstream. I'm so lost. Okay, bye. Look, my car. I'm so cold. My toes are literally so red. Ugh, this is the worst. <laughs> 